Hello everybody, Cooper here and welcome to the start of Season 2 of the AFL 23 Management Career Mode here with the Adelaide Crows. Today we've got a pre-season, uh, which is just the one match up against the Brisbane Lions uh, at the Adelaide Oval and then I'm not sure where we'll play up to. We might play the first couple of months, get through to the end of April and then see how we go. Uh, but we're going to pick the team uh, for this new season, most importantly. Um, so I'm going to tinker around with this for a bit and then figure out what our best 23, 24 is. And then I will be back once I've got something on screen. Okay, I've put a team together. This is basically what I'm going to try and keep for the majority of the season, barring injury, of course. We do have two injuries in the team at the moment, with Cadman being injured and Bryson Olsen being injured. Um, obviously, we can't get really get around that at the moment, but this is sort of the initial starting 18 plus the four interchange players and the sub. So we've got Chase Jones, uh, Sam Taylor, and Mason Redmond as our uh, full back line. Jordan Dawson, who's gonna be uh, doing kickouts and the captaincy. Uh, Jordan Butts and Caleb Daniel as our half back line. Sam Berry, Jake Saligo, and Rory Laird. We might actually switch those two around as the, uh, the midfield. Then for the followers, we'll have Riley O'Brien, Ben Keyes, and Rory Sloan. Half forward line, we'll have Isaac Rankin, Darcy Fogarty, and Matthew Christie, who's one of the draft picks that we picked up in the last episode. And then the full forward line, we've got Wayne Malira, uh, Taylor Walker, and Josh Rochelle. On the bench, we'll have Callum Coleman-Jones as one of our rucks. Uh, Kingston Stark, who's another one of our draft picks. Uh, Jeremiah McKenzie, another one of our draft picks. Will Hamill and uh, Riley Thilthorpe is going to be the sub uh, starting us off. I've just noticed that I've not included Ben McKenzie. That is outrageous. Uh, Jordan Butts can come out. I'm sorry. <laughs> so we're going to do that. That was a little... Have I missed anybody else? I think I'm good. Who? McHenry. No. He can sit out for now. And then Zayden Haynes, our number one draft pick. We might actually bring him onto the bench. So we want to give the young guys a bit of a go. We'll take Will Hamill out. We'll do that for now, so that will confirm that. And then we'll actually have a look at the injuries, see what the injuries are. So Cadman's got a hamstring strain. That's only going to keep him out for another week. And then I don't remember who the other injury was. Olsen's got a acute foot fracture. He's out for eight to nine weeks. So he's he probably wasn't going to play anyway, but he's going to be injured for the first bit of the season. But we've got this first um, preseason match up against Brisbane. And we get absolutely pumped at home. Not an ideal start. But hopefully that is not a replica of our, uh, our regular season form of what that is going to look like. Mason Redmond is injured at the moment. Uh, we'll have a check out of what his injury is in a minute. Uh, but Haynes can come in and we'll just go and put uh, Max uh, Michelini on the bench. Um, we'll confirm that... Have a quick scout of the injury. Uh, he's done his ACL. So that is fantastic. Money well spent. Um, but unfortunately, he is out um, for probably the season. <laughs> first game at Adelaide Oval up against North Melbourne. Hopefully, we can get away with a win. We lose first by 30 points. Not a great start to the season. We're up at quarter time, and then the wheels fell off. Um, we now have the showdown in round two, which is an away fixture. We'll have a look at the ladder uh, to start the season. We're down in 15th. Port won their first game of the season, winning by a point. Um, up against the Gold Coast Suns, but looks like. So, obviously, like to push up further up the ladder. We finished in ninth last season. So, if we can uh, finish in and around the top eight this season, we've... Obviously made a few additions. That would be nice. Uh, Roy Sloan is now injured. So we'll bring in Kingston Stark. Who's going to come in for Roy? We put Harry Sharp on the bench. Uh, for Roy Sloan. Depending on how long he is out for. Actually we're going to bring in Cadman. Because Cadman is uh, fit and healthy now. So we're going to put him on the bench. Um, 
So we'll see what he can do. He's obviously going to be a long-term prospect for us. We've pried him away from GWS. Hopefully we can pick up a win here today and we get absolutely battered in the showdown. Um, it was close-ish at three-quarter time, but six goals to one in the final quarter really blew uh, us out of the water. Uh, so two wins to start the season, not an ideal start. We're currently sitting last um, after two big losses. Um, so not great. We play Sydney, who are actually top. Um, so we could not have gotten a worse start to the season. We got another injury to Sam Berry. Let's bring in Harry Sharp. We'll put him on the wing. Hopefully something can come of that. But hopefully we can pick up our first victory here today. We lose by four in a close match. We were down big at half time. It was actually only 18 points at half time, but um, yeah, three losses to begin the season. Not a great start. We now have the gather round in round four. We have not played a match away from the Adelaide Oval yet, I've just noticed. Uh, Fremantle also unbeaten so far. So this would be our fourth consecutive match at the Adelaide Oval. How long is Roy Sloan out for? He is out with a PCL. He's going to be out for a little while. Uh, Callum Coleman-Jones is injured, which means we can bring in Jace Morrison, our, our draft pick that we just picked up. Is anybody else coming back from injury? Not that I can see. So we're going to confirm this lineup for now. Hopefully we can get a win up against Fremantle. We lose at home again. We were up big in the first quarter, but we just could not sustain that lead. We picked up the lead again in the fourth, but we just could, couldn't get it done. We finally have a match away from the Adelaide Oval now up against Brisbane. Now it looks like Ben Keyes is injured, so we're just getting hit by injuries to start the season. Uh, Sam Berry is back, thankfully, so we're going to put him in the midfield. We actually might put Sharp in the uh, Ruck Rover position, put Barry back on the wing. We'll see who else is back from injury. Let's have a look. Now, it looks like that's it. So we're gonna go with this lineup, slightly different to what you would typically see from us, but we're gonna confirm it. We just wanna get a win on the board and we lose again by 36 points to Brisbane. Never really looked in, in control of the game. Um, Brisbane didn't even kick straight and they still beat us fairly comfortably. So, zero and five start to the season. Not a great start. Saligo is now injured. Just this never ending list of injuries. We'll bring in Braden Cook. Jace Morrison can come out because I saw that Coleman Jones was back. Actually, we'll bring in Schoenberg over Cook, sorry. Schoenberg's a better player. Okay, we desperately need a win. Can we get it against Carlton? We lose again by 28 points. Again, Carlton did not kick straight and they still beat us fairly comfortably. We are in big trouble. We are at the Anzac Day round. We are 0 and 6 to start the season. We do not want to be 0 and 7. We are by far and away the worst team in the AFL. Uh, Chase Jones is injured. Let's play... Oh, Keys is back. That's good. Let's take Sharp out. Put him at Ruck Rover. We'll put Jordan Butts in the back pocket. We'll do that. Okay, I like the team that we have on paper. So we're doing... I don't think we're doing that badly. It's just we just can't find ways to win games is the problem. Because we've got... We're solid all over the park, I think. Um, we just got to win that first game and we should be okay. But this is going to be the last game of the episode. Let's actually win a game this episode. Unfortunately, we can't make it happen. We go into next episode 0 and 7 to start the season. Let's have a look at the ladder. It is ugly viewing at the moment. Um, so yeah, this is where we stand. We've got Hawthorne next episode. Um, let's actually have a look at what we're going to cover in the next episode. So if we go to the calendar, we'll probably cover the next month. So we've got Hawthorne, Essendon, Melbourne, West Coast, and then the mid-season draft. Actually, we might go through June as well. So we're going to do the next, we're going to do May and June next month. Sorry, next episode. Um, but if we look at the statistics, we'll go over just us. 
So it looks like Taylor Walker's leading the goal kicking. Uh, Miller is not far behind. Christy, the new boy, as well as Stark, is up there as well. In terms of disposal, Stark's got most of the ball. He's doing very well. Um, Mackenzie's got the most marks. Cadman has also got a lot of marks. Coleman Jones is up there as well. Tackles, Saligo's leading the way with Stark not far behind. Clearances is not really having a great deal of clearances, I'll be honest. And then hit outs, we've got Riley O'Brien obviously leading the way there. Um, and then we'll just look at the goal kicking. Are we not kicking straight? Is that one of our issues? Yeah, so McKenzie's got three goals eight. Keys has got two goals eight. Fogarty's got one goal six. Jeez. Fogarty, come on, you got a lift, man. Um, but yeah, that's not great. And then score assists. Michelini's got seven, which is good. I'm, I can get behind that. Um, but we're not having a great start to the season so far, guys. It's not been ideal. But hopefully we can improve. But that is going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, subscribe to the channel. Leave a like for more. Because um, we, are, we are trying to get a premiership done before Season 5. This is going to be a long rebuild. Um, and even once we get our first premiership, we might even continue the series after that. So until next time, guys, I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you guys then. Bye.